This day in the United States of America, right here, unfortunately. The group is called Survivors. They survived the greatest Holocaust. This one's going to be all breaks loose when we speak in the history Ready? of humankind. Ready? And the Jeff White leading these young people in this protest early morning, Planned Parenthood in Riverside, California. We got the banner. Hell breaks loose when we speak the truth. Hell breaks loose when you 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 speak the truth. Hey Jimbo. Barely 8 o'clock in the morning here in Riverside, California. These young people came early this morning, offloading their signs, their banners. Yeah. We're going yeah. to pray again this minute right now. We're going to pray for uh, Planned Parenthood. Amen. Okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come before you here in front of this Gilly Center. God, inside our babies who don't know that they're in near. We pray for their mothers, God, that they'd have a change of heart. Yes. By the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray for the staff here, God, each one of them made in your image, violating that image, God, by participating in the killing of children. And God, I pray for each and every one of them. I pray, God, that you would not let them sleep, that you would haunt their dreams, that you would wake them at night with visions of what is going on here, that they'd hear the cries of the children that are silent from his side. But those cries are heard at your altar, God, and the blood, the innocent blood, cries out for justice. God, we pray against Planned Parenthood. We pray, God, that you would bring down this evil empire, mm, yeah. this Goliath of our day, Lord, we just pray that at the most basic level, God, that the funding would begin to dry up. We pray, Lord, for, for uh, everybody that works here, Lord, that they would not get along. We pray that you would come back to the table, Lord, that you would, that you would trouble the water inside your office. God, that they would uh, just be at each other's throat left and right, God, that they just, there would be no peace. We just pray, God, for no peace inside there. Lord, we don't pray for any violence against them. We pray, God, for the for the realization in their own hearts of the violence that they're participating in and that they would rush to you, O oh God, for forgiveness, for healing, and that they would, Lord, just leave this trade. I remember Judith Petra, God, I looked her up to you today, former administrator of Planned Parenthood. God, you changed her heart. God, and when she came to live with me, she was a different person. 
on one side of the fence one day and in my home the next. God, I just pray for that for this staff. Lord, just please trouble these waters, bring Planned Parenthood down, empower your people across the country. We give you thanks for David Delighting and Lyle and all those who've done videos. Lord, we pray for them that you continue to guide them and protect them, especially David and Maura Harris. She sets her sights on him. We pray that you would give him your holy protection. I pray for everyone that's gathered here today and is just at the 9 o'clock protest opens there. up. God, I pray that you would um, just be with everybody that's in that group, Lord, and during that, that special time of prayer and action, Lord, that lives would be saved today. Lord, that those who work there to plan parenthood would be Christ. And uh, Lord, that you're dead, just that your people would rise up. Pour out your Holy Spirit on your people across this land, that we can be righteously indignant that we can be angry without sinning, the Lord, that we would not tolerate the murder of children, the civil yes, yes, yes. Give us, God, that determination, that ability to persevere, Lord, against this evil. Let us not grow weary of well doing. That we might hear those words, well done, good and faithful servant. We pray for this day, for your guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. Survivors, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Here on the street. Um, Outside the Planned Parenthood. Yeah. yeah. Who wants a lean champ? Anybody? Gavin. Hey James, you want to come over here and pound some drums with Declan? Lead down to the yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Survivors.la, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to find out more about this organization, Brother Jeff White started it many years ago, working with these young people, chanting, playing the drums, protesting, showing the truth of murdered and dismembered babies.
Pray for those security guards, the staff here at Planned Parenthood. Could you please uh, familiarize yourself with these noise regulations at Riverside so I don't have to call the police? Okay, we go through this quite often. Uh, we respect your right to be here. Okay, uh, but if you'll please review those before you keep making noisy outbursts and disturbing my household. Okay. You want your chair? <laughs> He's just a neighbor complaining. Okay. One, of the things, one, of the, one of the things that's going to happen, um, hey, why don't all you guys come down here because I'm going to talk to you. Come here. Okay, on tape. All young people, come this way. Cheryl, okay to, okay to keep rolling on this? Uh, Jeff, do you mind if Wiley keeps rolling on this? No, keep going. And do you mind if he records this? No, I don't care. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. Once the resistance is up, you saw this neighbor came over here, okay? Likes to find parenthood, doesn't yeah, like us. Right. He's laying out city ordinances, okay? He's got a little business over here, all right? Here's the deal. Once the resistance is up and rolling, anybody that's going to stand with Planned Parenthood is an enemy of the children. It's that simple. These guys who are putting up things about don't park in their driveway, hey businesses, we're going to go after everybody. If you come along outside Planned Parenthood, if you align yourself with Planned Parenthood, then you're going to incur the wrath of the protesters. Okay? You're, we're going to go after them. Because we, as this thing starts to build up into summertime, it's going to get less and less polite. Never mind, it's going to get less and less polite. Because imagine, imagine if you knew any other crime that was going on and the neighbor says, hey man, what are you doing? Get in, you know, get in front of my house when you're trying to stop that crime. Fire trucks, a building on fire. You would think he was an idiot, right? The fact of the matter is they're killing children. They're cutting open their faces to get to their brains. They're keeping them alive so they can get better tissue. This is unthinkable, but we're not gonna be apologetic. So when somebody comes out, we want people to know that if you're gonna stand with Planned Parenthood, then you are an enemy of the children. They're not our enemy, but they're an enemy of the children. So I just wanna let you know, this. This guy over here, as it starts to crank up, he's going to get the other. He's going to get the other side of it. Okay. Same thing with the businesses. When we're going to do it, we're going to start calling them and saying, "Hey, you want to put the signs out in front of your, your businesses, and we're going to include you in it." Collaborators. I was just in Slovenia, and uh, my friend there's a Catholic guy, and he won't go to his local church. Okay. He won't go to his local Catholic church because he has pictures of priests on the wall who were collaborators with the communists and turned in their Christian friends and he won't he won't go to the church as long as those guys are on there because those priests in the, that particular parish collaborated with the communists to oppress the Christians and so he won't go there and it's that same kind of thing they're called collaborators anybody that supports Planned Parenthood they're collaborators and we're just gonna make it real clear you're gonna take a stand how many of you are racist Okay, of course, you're not going to, you know why? Because there was a time, there was a time within my lifetime where that question would not have been answered with a universal silence, okay? If I, how many of you have to change it? How many of you can't stand blacks? Right? There was a time when that question would have been answered with half a group of people raising their hands, okay? A group of youth groups. They would have been, they would have been followed up by a series of, of things where, where they were, um, throwing out racial epithets towards people. The uh, so it was at one point not unthinkable. Thankfully today, it's unthinkable. You you won't find young people making those kinds of statements. Okay, at least not here in California. I've been in the South, and there are places that still would be that way in a couple of, of, of places where, where uh, hatred because of colors, they go to the left by issues. 
Um, so anyways, I just want to tell you, because this guy came over, so I thought I would mention this as I go, I want to explain some of the things that we're going to be doing um, uh, with the resistance, uh, is we're going to start being in a lot more people's faces, okay? So um, that's it. Let's go back to our post and let's uh, keep putting out some chance there. Survivors team being briefed from Brother Jeff White. They're here to do peaceful, yet maybe a little impolite protests. It's time to get serious. And they're saying Planned Parenthood has got to go. Look at the beautiful face on that baby and the baby parts laying all around that beautiful face and the dish with guts and feet and toes and eyes parts and pieces that have been ripped out of them and Planned Parenthood is even keeping the babies alive as long as they can to protect forward a little bit kind of Lita. Lita. Girl. <laughs> second here guys at nine o'clock we're gonna have of course another I like all hell breaks loose. Hell breaks loose when you speak the truth. I like that. All hell does break loose when you tell the truth. It does. That's what the book says. Hell breaks loose when you speak the truth.
I think, I think, I think, I think it's a material flaw. It's not me. I'm a smart guy. Trying to be bent on the ground. You gotta be like, you know, those Vietnam protesters. We're all like, what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, we're live on the street in Riverside, California. A group called Survivor.LA is here. They're here to protest Planned Parenthood. They're here to protest murder. They're here to protest trafficking of body parts. They're here to stand for the truth. And when you proclaim the truth, as they just chanted, all hell breaks loose. I have to confess I was leaning towards not doing it, okay? Until my compadres go, Psh, since when do we listen to Planned Parenthood security? Good point. The police have already been by the banner still up, okay? One of the things... Hey, don't go in there! Don't go in there! It's all right, Tim. It's all right. You got work so anyways, I just wanted, I just wanted to, to, again, point out that when you're doing these things, you know, uh, no matter how authoritarian the person says, or no matter how much research they say they've done, even if it was along the books, so the police still have to enforce it. It has to become whether it's a priority for them to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you because I was not the full thing. And, uh, whether I would or not, I don't know, but sort of sitting in the back of your head, you're thinking, yeah, okay. So, let's, uh... See, the police I, also had to realize they didn't want a piece of him here, okay? Yeah, that's a lot of weight to carry. I mean, they, 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 had to, they would have to go get their animal control truck. That's right. They thought, hey, beach whale. Yeah, you know? yeah, basically. A little cattle truck. for a beach whale, but... We don't have a lot of loose cattle on the street here. All right, let's <laughs> spread back up. Like, about quarter to nine guys, we're going to jump and get all the other um, signs for everybody else showing up, okay? And Jeff, this is being broadcast on TV. If anyone would like to do an interview, I certainly will not ask you any. I'll ask you three questions if you want to be on. Number one, who are you? Number two, where are you from? And number three, why are you here? All right, so raise your hand if you guys are... If you want to okay. do an interview, guys, just guys, raise your hand and I'll come to you. Oh, look the other way. All right, there's one. I'll come to you. All right, All right. spread down. You can talk to any of them. They'll answer your questions okay. if they're polite. All right, and uh, like I said, no trick questions. Okay. Just three of them. Who are you? Where are you from? And uh, why are you here? I'm gonna list all three. And just okay. Or whatever you'd like to say. <laughs> this is this is free TV. All so right. Go ahead. Um, my name is Ben White. I'm Jeff White's son, and I'm from Lake Arrowhead, California. And I'm here because I believe that. Babies are being killed here, and I need to stand up and defend them because, you know, you can't just be pro-life and not do anything about it, sit in your couch. That's not how things get done around here. Amen. People who work and get out and get active are the ones changing the world, and I want to be a part of that. Amen. Amen. Ben, how old are you? I'm 19, sir. 19. I was working with your dad when you were not here. <laughs> you know, yeah. in Operation Rescue? Yeah. All right. I like that. I was, what year were you born? 1996. 96. I was in downtown Los Angeles with your dad, with Troy Newman. Yeah, Troy, I like Troy. Uh, yes, Troy in Los Angeles in 1987. 1987. <laughs> I wish I was a part of that. Yeah. That was a great time. Well, amen. I I amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Riverside. Anybody else want to do an interview? Just raise your hand. I'll come to you. Three questions. Who are you? Where are you from? And why are you here? And don't be, don't be uh, fearful. It's only going around the world. 
<laughs> it's on the internet and it will be on YouTube as well. Anybody want to answer those three questions? How about you? Would you like to answer those three? First question is, who are you? Second question is, where are you from? Number three, why are you here? My name is Teresa. I'm from Southern California, and I'm here to just save lives. Amen. Amen. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, survivors of the greatest holocaust in the history of mankind makes Dachau and 8 million Jews look hey, like hey. walking apart. Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! Hey, hey! Oh, ho! Planned Parenthood's got to go! The sign said Planned Parenthood has been caught and that's been proven. We had Lila Rose on the other day talking about some of the investigative work that she has done. They're trafficking aborted baby parts. They're keeping the babies alive so they can preserve the parts. And then they rip them apart. And you see the evidence right over there. Have you guys set up? Have you guys put your signs against the tree here? And we're gonna get set up before everybody starts arriving and then, then we're gonna just already be in motion. That includes you. We're gonna get some signs out of the uh, Hey Jimbo, can you give me a hand? All right, anybody else want to answer those three questions real quickly? Who are you? Where are you from? And why are you here? Look at me. Look at me. Come on over. All right, three questions. You're on, live on the Wiley Drake Show on the internet around the world. Three questions. I'm going to give you all three of them, and then you answer them one, two, three. Okay. Number one, who are you? Number two, where are you from? And number three, why are you here? My name is Johnny Green. I live just down the street, and I'm here because of, I'm tired of being silent about my brothers and sisters who are not here anymore, Amen. and I want to stand up for them. So. All right, very good. How old are you? I'm 15. 15 years old. All right. Left-handed golfers association. I'm a lefty also. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. You're not. Okay. It's just a cap. So just a cap. Okay. Everybody gets a cap for some reason. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Anything else you'd like to share with our audience? Uh, I challenge everyone who's watching this to come out to your nearest Planned Parenthood or abortion center and start protesting too. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's just some of the young people here live on the Wiley Drake Show. This is being broadcast all over the world. And we've prayed for the staff here already, the security guards, the staff. We've prayed for Planned Parenthood and we'll continue to pray for them every day and uh, these folks are here to stand up and protest murder you know it sounds different when you say protest Planned Parenthood it sounds different when you say stand for life but ladies and gentlemen this is a matter of murder they are murdering human beings murdering human beings and that's what these people are standing to end. Murder. Let's bring it to an end.